Right, folks, and welcome back. Don't know why I did that weird little um, accent there, but yes, one game off camera today, and it was a 5-1 victory over Circular Rouge. So we had Diego Nascimento, we had Barack, we had Ogden, Ogden, Dimitri Geralt, and Ken. It was a fantastic win. Very happy with that. The um, yeah, well, you surely must be up there with the league's top scorers, considering you know only yeah two games ago in the uh, in the league we beat seven nil and now we've won five nil. Why don't we have a look? Let's let's see. Can can we go team overview? No team detailed. Here we go, what do we got? Goals. Oh, okay. Here we go. So it's actually this team. They have Jan Kozak. He's... Okay, no one. I thought I knew who he was. But yeah, here we go. This looks like it's going to be the team to beat. And uh, we've got them pretty soon. I think we've already beaten them. They beat them 4-1. They have been scoring quite a bit. 4-2. Hmm. We do face them relatively soon anyway. But anyway, that's not the game we're featuring today. It is RB Salzburg. So let's get into it. And I've got some changes to make. Right, this is how we are going to play. TL is right back, because I cannot be bothered pronouncing that name. We've got OG in goal. We've got Rest Ritzos and Vallejo with Diego on the uh, sorry Diego is actually right back TL is left back we've got Charles Decay and Alunga Geralt Nascimento Ken and Brack Acturd we've got Botello Rusev Lauenberg Petit Alvarez Bernard and VMP on the beach hopefully we can come away with a win here Rusev isn't fully fit that's fine, he should be more than capable of playing at least a half. Uh, with 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 luck, I guess. Um, oh my god, is that Sergio Rico? It is Sergio Rico, a 35-year-old Sergio Rico nonetheless. When did he come in? 18 mil card a couple seasons ago. Played a decent bit for Arsenal, actually. Yeah, interesting. Went to Arsenal in 2021-22 for 25 mil. Fair enough. Anyway, let's tell the boys. They've got faith in them. We'll get them to where they picked off last game. And, um, yeah, a win here puts us in a fantastic opportunity to progress from the group. Hopefully we can win. All right. Here we go. Another highlight here. Oh, we've managed to keep it. Can Ken build on his nice run. Oh, it could be a penalty. Penalty review from the ref. Excuse me. Barack is going to take it. Can he put us in a 1-0 lead? You've got this, buddy. Oh, there we go. Fantastic by Barack. Ninth goal of the season. What a signing he has proven to be. He's been great in the league. He's been great in the Champions League. Bang. Great penalty from Barack there. Alright, Nassi Mento's picked it up here. Bad cross, but we've got it back with TL now on the left. Gives it up to Ken. To Diego, back to Ken. What can Ken do? Gives it to Barack, but it's... Someone throws themselves in front of the ball and we can't... We can't get it back. Unfortunate, but not too bad. The boys are fired up. We've got a few fouls, it looks like just going to tell them that I've got faith to keep the run going. We'll end the team talk. I'm going to bring on Rusev. He should be able to do something for us. Brack and Ken, both on yellow cards. Same with Diego. Okay, we'll have to be a bit more careful since we do have quite a few yellow cards out there. We'll, yeah, we'll get the players that are... Um, on yellow cards to ease off the tackles a bit. Is that one of our instructions? Let's get stuck in. Yeah, okay, let's let's turn that off for now because we don't need any more. Right, we're going to have to bring in a couple more people. I'm going 
gonna bring on Bernard for Ken. And I think Petite for Charles Decay. I think that's some good substitutes there. Right, nothing really happening. Although, as I say that, we've got a highlight now. Brack Turk off to Rusev. What can Rusev do? Nothing. But Dimitri Geralt gets it back. He's given it back to Rusev, but no, the chance is gone a little bit. Looks like, oh, we've scored. Brack Turk is with his 10th. That is fine. It looks like Porto and Manchester City are actually drawing, which isn't ideal, in fact. I'd much prefer it if Manchester City were to win. But, yeah. I guess a draw is not the worst thing in the world. Oh, Bernard is injured. We can't can't bring anyone on for him. He's only just come on. Can't bring Ken back on, can I? No. We'll just have to play without him. There's only five minutes to go. We'll be all right. Nessie Mento with a cross. God, Barack Ekturg with a huge goal. That's his hat trick. The game is over. That makes the goal difference look a little bit better on our side as well. Brackag Turk, lucky, lucky to get that goal. Quite, uh, quite a few chances for us actually. Fourteen six on target, fifteen fouls as well. Um, but yeah, good, good game for Brack scoring a hat trick. I believe that's his first hat trick for, for the team. Really special lads. Very happy them very happy. If it's in the final third, we're crucial in our win. Delighted. Brilliant. Rightio. Oh, Porto beat Manchester City even. Wow, okay, I thought they might have been drawing. But no. No, that is not good news. Manchester City, they've lost. Oh, no. That does not help us at all. <laughs> okay, Group E. Um, <laughs> How do we go and have a look? Champions League, right. Group E. Right, it's still anyone's... Wow. We've got to rely... We've got to beat Porto on the last day. And that will give us the win. That'll give us the second second place. And um, actually, if we... 1911, if, if Salzburg can pull off a victory over Manchester City, we could finish top. That would... <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> we finish top with two, three wins, two draws and a loss. That'd be amazing. We'd get a pretty hard team, though. I don't think we'd be going much further in the competition. But even just to qualify for the knockout rounds, I'm happy. Anyway, let's get in to the next game. I think, because I do want to feature the game against Porto, I will skip one of these games. And I think I will skip this next one against Royal Antwerp, because we want to go up against the league leaders, KV. Michelin. So, I'll see you back for those games, and then we're going to play KV, League Leaders, and then Porto. Well, folks, we threw away a 2-0 league. 2-0 uh, league. 2-0 lead. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. We were leading 2-0 until the 62nd minute, when they got one back. And then 64th minute, they got another one back. And that was it. We couldn't score unfortunately so um yeah very very annoying um we had two goals let's see i don't remember who they were jack grealish and charles and decay but now we've got the game against michelin and um yeah those two points even if we do beat them they're still a point above us that win would have sent us top if we can win here against michelin anyway just weren't clinical enough and the defence got a bit lazy. We're going into the next game. Let's do it. Right, we're back. We've got KV Michelin. So, 
Louis Bottle will start. Rusev, Ristos, Lauenberg, Mendes, Charles Decay, Alunga, Dijapovic, Grealish, Ken, and Miglesio. And then we've got OG, Betcher, Montero, Fran, and Asimento, Pedersen, and VMP on the bench. Oh, I can't play someone because of the minimum number of... I need to have six players in Belgium. Right. Okay, who are we going to go? Sky Belgium? No. Do I own this fella? Huh. Did I bring him in? I did bring him. I don't even remember. That's pretty bad. Okay, Nassi Mento is injured. Um, who do I want to bring in? Trimboli to that help? No. Apparently he hasn't been at the club. Um, does that help? No. Does that help? No. Which they might play Denny's. Alright, let me figure this one out. Hold on. Alright, there we go. Um, Tiam, uh, or Thiam, whatever. He's going to come into the bench. Let's go. Very, um, very interesting rule, that. Let's uh, tell the boys we got faith in them. Let's head out there. Let's win us this game, which will put us one point off the top, which is kind of annoying. Like, if we don't win this game, we're going to be six points off top. Something like that. We're gonna we're gonna be you know further off than we want. It's gonna be a harder, much harder um, process to get back in. As Ken, oh, he goes so close, but it hits the post. Ooh, bit of luck there, and we would be leading. I told the boys to go out, play with some passion, get the result. We're not playing the strongest team. Definitely are not playing our strongest team as uh, Maglasio. Don't know what he was up to there. But yeah, we we need this win. Because uh, we will lose a lot of ground in the title race. Even though the title race does go to some sort of championship thing for the top six teams. Oh, Rusev, have you picked up a knock? Really, Matty? That's not great. Yeah, it goes to a championship sort of playoff thing. But... We can't, how good would it be to finish in first in the the actual league table? Okay, half time then, and um, it's not looking good. It's nil nil, but we're leading with shots. We're also leading with fouls. It looks like they can't really get into a rhythm, fouling too much. We'll have to uh, see what we can do. All right, Dennis Becker has just come on, and he's created this chance. He's come in place for the injured Rusev, or potentially injured Rusev. I don't actually know how bad it is. It is a thigh injury. I know that much. Is it a... a well, oh, I think it was a thigh injury, at least. It looked like... Oh, yes, Nicholas Lauenberg. He's scored for us. The Dane is getting his second goal of the season. Fantastic from Nicholas. I keep calling him Nicholas. Maybe it's just Nicholas. Nicholas? I don't know. Either way, we're winning. 52nd minute. We've had a dominance. Well, I, I, well, we had the dominance of the highlights by the looks of it. The, I was going to say the position must be in our favour, but it's 50-50. Here we go. Alrighty, come on, Brock Club Bruges. Let's get creative. Let's not get anyone sent off in some aggressive um, tackling or anything. Looks like the defenders both have yellow cards, which is not great. Denny's now. Oh, great from this. Oh, no. Stepajovid Pojovic. I don't actually know. Stajapovic, I'm guessing. I'm, who do I want to take off? Who's Launberg is playing better? But Montero is going to come on for Panagotas. Okay, can we hold on for the lead? I think Jack Grealish will be the next one to hop off after this highlight now. Jack Grealish is going to whip in this cross. 
Denny's, back to Ken. What can Ken do? Can't find anyone. Gives it back to Landers. Denny's, and Denny's scores his first goal of the season. Fantastic from him. I cannot wait. We are now two goals to the good. Let's get Grealish off. Um, let's chuck on the. Uh, oh, he's not very comfortable there. Um, I guess not. Let's chuck on Ayunga. Ayunga. I don't actually know how to play his name, so we we'll have to see. Alrighty, Steiger Povic now. What can he do? Oh, he came so close. He's actually been fantastic. He's This is only his second game that he's played. His first game, he got a debut assist. and uh, now, No, he didn't get a debut assist, sorry. He got a debut goal. <laughs> but he, yeah, he's actually been pretty decent on that side. So maybe he is um, making up for the averageness of his career. Oh, that's harsh. That is harsh. I don't think his career has been that average, but it... Oh, oh great save! <laughs> Louis Bottolo. Fantastic. Come on. What do we have here? Mendes now. Charles Decay to Betcher. Back all oh, to a younger... Oh, it's been... Oh, Ken's tapped it in near post. Oh, fantastic. 3-0 victory. Very well done, folks. This will give us great, great hopes of finishing in that first position. First position. We've had 22 shots. Fantastic. 3-0 victory. Let's go. Fantastic. Very happy with everything there. Amazing performance from the lads against the league leaders. And now we're only one point off the league. <laughs> So, great. Eight wins, five draws, two defeats. Our goal difference is insane. 22. Plus 22. We've conceded, like, nothing. It's fantastic. Rusev is injured. He's going to be out two to three weeks, which is a bit unfortunate. We're going to give him to the physios. And we've got a few people out now. We've got Massey Mento, but he can play... Jordan Bernard is also able to play. Noah Petit is out for three months, probably. It's uh, it's very hard. Anyway, let's come back for the game against Porto. Right, we uh, yeah, I, because I did you know mess up that uh, squad registration. TL is coming back in. We've got Vallejo, OG, Laumberg, Diego, Denis, Charles, Decay, Geralt, Elunga. Ken Brack, Actor, Botello, Ristos, Yearbowl, Tiam Alvarez, uh, Accor, and VMP are, as the team today. Not the strongest lineup we could go, especially the bench it is lacking that little bit of quality. But, um, you know, still, the, the boys could do a job. The boys can still do a job. We just have to hope for the best. I think it's be a given assessment that Manchester City will beat RB Salzburg, so a draw here doesn't help. Oh my god, Denny's is injured. Are you joking? Let's bring T let's not bring Tiam on. So we'd have to bring Alvarez on, drop Alvarez, drop Ayunga back, and we'll play Alvarez as more of an attacking midfielder on support. That will have to do. That is really unfortunate in it for Landers Denny's. Um, after the last game. You know, having a good game, scores that first game that he's played. Gets injured in the second game, I put him in. Having a little bit of trouble with injuries as Fabio Silva goes close there. But uh, he was offside anyway, so not the worst thing imaginable. Looks like Ben Chilwell plays for, plays for them as well, which is a bit odd. TS, no. Is his name TS? I forgot. Is it, no, T, TL, sorry, TL. He's back running for the ball. Um, even at third place, which is on nine points, nonetheless, that is not bad. 
Barack and Turk. Oh, he's put it in. It's an own goal. Jamie Jarouch. He's put it in. Oh, it's an own goal for them. Their right wing back. Oh, fantastic. Ken was very lucky to get the header, to get the two Barakak to, to put in the header. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but we are winning. We will be finishing second at this current time. 11 points to finish second. Fantastic for us. Definitely, definitely fantastic to get through to a Champions League knockout round in a group with Man City. Auto and RV Salzburg. No easy task. I don't think we would have survived in many other groups. Especially not this well. Especially drawing Manchester City. And not conceding like 50 goals in two games to them. So I'm happy with that. Alright. What can they do? They can't. Can't get the equaliser. Chancel are younger, unfortunately, has picked up a knock, so we've had to take him off, and we're going to play um, a core there, which is not the best, but Geralt has just whipped in a belter, fifth goal of the season, great assist from our centre-half, Nicholas Lauenberg there, straight to Geralt, bang, straight at Bernadoni, and it's in, 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> 2 nil, fellas. This is, this is this is insane. How Manchester City going? 5 nil against Harvey Salzburg. Sounds about right. Oh, what do we got here? Good defence. Ken is unfortunately another player of ours to have picked up a knock. I've got him subbed off coming in. VMP is the closest player. The best player that can play in his position. It's unfortunate all three of our players have come off due to injury. I have no idea what Porto are doing, but they, they're pretty pissed that we're finishing above them. They do not want us to go any further in the competition, so they're trying to they're trying to smack us about a bit. Which is unfortunate, you know, because we could draw Barcelona, we could draw PSG. So far in this competition, we could draw Bayern Munich. Like, either way, it's not going to be easy, but we've made it. You did what was needed. Fantastic. Fan bloody tastic. We are through. We have made it through in second place to the Champions League knockout rounds. Porto blew their chance. They've been eliminated. They are down to the Europa League. Four to five weeks. That's so annoying. We've got seven injuries. Oh. Poor performance from Allegri and his blokes at Porto. Oh, Landers Denny, we'll also leave him to the physio. Ken's out, he's only out for a couple of days, that is fine. Let's go to the press conference. We executed that profession. We're in the half of the next round. How far do you think we can go into the competition? Um, let's be realistic, we're not gonna win this, but every game is adventure and we're gonna enjoy it. I'm not gonna say that. I'm going to say we'll take it one team at a, one game at a time. If we play like we did today, I don't see why we can't go far. Exactly. The fairy tale continues. Must be delighted to progress further in the competition. I'm pleased we're through, but we won't get ahead of ourselves, that's for sure. He um, had a pretty torrid time in front of goal. I mean, the game is over, so let's not, let's not do that. Convincing 8-0 victory over, I'll say, one. Yeah, cool. That's, that's all good. Gee, the Belgian heavyweights have been delighted to qualify from a difficult qualifying group containing the likes of Man City and Porto as they finish second in Group E. Well, that's fantastic. The board are very pleased with the club that we've reached the first knockout round of the Champions League and we've got more money for it as well. The board will be loving that. We will praise Dimitri Geralt there for scoring the only game, the only goal that we scored. Obviously, the other fellas, um, did it? Oh no, Tresor is out. He is transfer listed as well. It's probably because he is like 22 and hasn't done too much. I am just going to change his name to Tresor because I cannot pronounce his name for the life of me. 
uh, you know, he's he's played a decent amount of games for us, especially we've just been uh, chucking him in since we forgot to register any other players, which is uh, kind of annoying. But anyway, that is it, folks. We will bring it back um, probably sometime in January. Um, we've got a wee while until the Champions League knockout round. I'm excited for that. We don't know when the draw is yet. Does it tell me? The draw is the 11th of December. Okay. So what I will do is um, I'll pause it here. I'll cut here. We'll... Um, I'll skip it to the 11th of December. We'll see the draw and we'll end it there. Sounds good. How long has this video gone so far? 25 minutes, right. We won't make it too much longer. A couple more minutes. We'll get the draw done and then we'll be off. Right, folks, here we go. First round of the knockout. We'll just say, did have a game in between and... Brack scored two. Where is it? Is it one of these? Uh, oh, wrong one. That one. No, it wasn't. Uh, we did beat KVC Westerlo though, 3-1, so that was nice. Anyway, let's see who we get. So, we're unseeded. So is the, that's every team that's come in second. Who, who do we have that we could potentially face? Arsenal, Barcelona, Manchester United, PSG, Real Madrid, Manchester City, Hertha Berlin, or Bayern Munich. Out of all of those teams, Gotta be Hertha Berlin, right? Well, let's draw Club Bruges route first. Oh, we get Hertha Berlin. I couldn't do it any better. Okay, that is good. That is fantastic for us. It's not going to be easy. Hertha Berlin have a fantastic side. They've got a lot of money in the game. I don't know how. I think they must have been taken over by some sort of consortium. But we've got a good chance. The rest of it, oh, that's fantastic. Let's just draw the rest of the teams. The other option I would have said would have been probably Arsenal. Would have been the next best thing. Thank goodness we've got her, the Berlin. I think we've got a chance here, folks. We've got a better chance than everything. Two considerably wealthy sides. A bumper crowd. Ooh. Have not lost to Club Bruges in the last two meetings. Okay, well, hopefully, hopefully we can uh, we can get that dub at least in one of the matches. So we've got two, the thirteenth of February and the seventh of March. Anyway, I've got a few games to play off camera, and we'll bring you back sometime around January, probably for this Stand Liège game towards the end of January. And we'll see who's um, who's a new signing. Anyway, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Thanks a ton for watching, and uh, peace.